we're gonna look at some cool hunts with some people that took the Garmin Zero out. Uh, Rayhan from Garmin, uh, he's a lifelong hunter. His big passions is upland game bird hunting, uh, but he's deer hunted many times before. And through his position at Garmin, he spent a lot of time preparing and learning and getting ready to be able to hunt with a Garmin Zero because it's an all new process. When we set in, it was kind of crazy. Almost immediately, we had deer coming in. I didn't even have time to put on my coat. A few small bucks um, wasn't what we were looking for, but that's patience. I guess it's a virtue. You know, out of the corner of my eye, you know, I see this really, really nice buck coming through, and I just caught a glimpse of him, and so immediately just kind of stopped moving. He was staying in a thicker drawl area, so just kind of slowly got back, settled in, and uh, got a really good look at him. When he gave me a little bit more of a chance to look at him, you could tell he was an old deer. You could tell that this was kind of his turf and he'd been here for a while. He had that sagging belly. He looked like he was just a little bit older, maybe, maybe smaller than he should have been. Just a really, really nice, mature deer. And seeing that deer, I had a little bit of buck fever and it, it's kind of this weird, half crouching, half standing position as you're getting up. So you may see me shaking just a little bit on that one and that's all right, you know, good deer deserves that. You know, communicating with Rusty, our cameraman, he's awesome does a great job. One of the things in that tripod is tough is that one I was on the swivel seat, so he was behind me. He was yelling at me, hold on, hold on, hold on. But with the wind and me focused on that buck, I could not hear him for the life of me. That deer came in. Uh, he was at a little over 15 yards, 12 yards. And I think I got him. I think that was a pretty good shot. As soon as that arrow's gone, you know, we, the work's not done. You still got a lot more to, to do, but you know, I feel like I was shaking like a leaf. I was so happy. And one of the first things we did was we, we got out that inReach and we sent Wade a message saying, hey, buck down, you know, we got it. After the shot, you know, you always want to see a deer go down as quickly as it can. And when it ducks into that brush, it starts kind of creeping in your mind, the what ifs. In the stand, we could see there was blood right by the arrow. There's a little bit on the tree, so you know we knew that we had made a good shot on it. But sometimes it doesn't, you know, immediately bleed as much as you want for a track. And so for that first little bit, we were seeing spots here, spots there. That's when your gut kind of starts flipping, and you start running through everything again. And you know, did I do this right? Did I do that right? Was it a, the shot that I thought it was? And you know, at that point, all you can do is really start tracking it and start looking and luckily we have you know some great people here and almost immediately we came on just nice nice blood for it two spots of it so it looked like it was from both sides i think probably within another 10 15 yards somebody hollered out and when they hollered out i knew it, i knew we had it I was uh, pretty worried there right after we got down out of the tree. There wasn't as much blood as I had hoped and uh, kind of died off there a little bit, but we caught onto a nice, nice patch. And here he is. <laughs> I mean, yeah. What an awesome deer. When you flash back to Ray Hans Hunt, what you're seeing is, is a guy that spent untold hours practicing, learning the zero sight, wanting to do the best that he could on the hunt if he was, if he was given an opportunity to take a shot. And all that practice paid off. Uh, you know, the sight's going to perform how the sight is designed to, but you as the hunter, you've always got to remember this. I don't care whether what sight you're using or what gear you're using. You're only as good as the practice. You're only as good as that muscle memory in there. And you can tell Ray Holland spent a lot of time dialing it in.